Hey guys, Aaron here, and today we're talking about how to properly transition from your tile backer board to drywall, as well as how to properly seal your water mixer valve. Okay, so a couple things to note here. I am using GoBoard, um, which is a foam backer board. Um, there's several different models of this out there. I'm not going to go over all of them right now, but this process will work with all of these. Um, and I'm using a moisture resistant drywall. Um, which I suggest using um, definitely when you have a tile or tub installation going on. Um, but we do not want to use drywall mud because that drywall mud will eventually break down and you could it, the tiles could eventually start falling off. So um, we're going to go through the process of how to properly fill this in and properly um, uh, transition. Alright, so as you can see here we have our go board and we have our moisture resistant drywall. This could be anything, this could be cement, cement board, uh, any kind of uh, uh, tile backer board would be fine. Um, if you want to see how I installed this, I'll have links to those videos in the description below and it will explain what this is and everything like that. Um, so what we want to do here is we want to actually want to use thin set because like I said, we don't want to use drywall mud because it will break down if it gets wet. The thin set will not break down as quickly um, and will maintain. We also don't want to use uh, regular tape because again that's paper it will break down so what we're going to be using is an alkaline uh, mesh tape um, which is going to be the same that's used normally for cement board things like that so you can find it in the drywall section um, so but like I said we're going to go ahead and come over with our thin set um, smooth this down uh, and then we'll cover it with mesh tape so we'll show you how to do that right now all right so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do like I would my wood drywall mud I'm going to put this on there Fill in my eighth inch gap here, spread this down. I'm just using my six inch drywall knife as well. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my tape, and again, you can you, know, you can put the tape on first if you want, it, in my opinion, it's just kind of a preference, um, and I prefer to do a little, fill, prefer to fill the gap first, and then take your tape, just take it along the seam there. Now, like drywall mud, this can be sanded down. Um, I recommend getting as much of it off as you possibly can. Right now, it doesn't sand down as easy, and it's definitely it's going to be a bit more coarse um, when you're done. All right, now when that dries, I'll go ahead and take 120 uh, grit sandpaper, um, sand this down a little bit, and then I can go ahead and run my tile just past this, um, and I'll put my well, however you're into your tile. Um, I'll run my tile out to here, which covers the seam, that way I don't have to worry too much about it. And then for the drywall side, what I'll probably end up doing um, is I'll just mud this, right? So I'll mud it because this is, like I said, pretty coarse, not easy to sand down. You can sand it down a little bit, but it's still gonna give you a grainy finish. Uh, and if you want that smooth finish, what I'm gonna do is I'll take drywall mud and go over the top of this again. All right, so next we're gonna talk about our mixing valve. Um, this is a Schluter uh, mixing valve cover. It's about seven bucks um, at uh, Home Depot. Um, these are nice to have. They fit in pretty well. If you need to cut the inside of it, you can. Um, and I'll show you how I install that.
Thanks for watching. As always, if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you click that link below and become one. Also, make sure you hit that like button and help us out with the YouTube algorithm. We have lots of great content available for you, and we're always coming out with new stuff. So if you have thoughts on this video or things you'd like to see in the future, make sure you let us know in the comment section below. And thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.